right now at four, it's money down the drain. Every year, people lose billions of dollars to bank overdraft fees. But in Washington, there is a fight to drastically reduce them. Queen City News Chief Business Correspondent Taylor Young joins us now with this fee fiasco playing out in our nation's capital. All right, Taylor, some banks charge as much as $40 per overdraft, and people are very familiar with that. Yeah, guys, there are some pretty hefty fees out there. And if you have money in the bank, there's a good chance that if your balance dips below zero, you will be hit with a penalty charge. But the Biden administration argues these fees pose an unnecessary burden on consumers, particularly those living paycheck to paycheck. Now, this morning, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau proposed rules that put a cap on these fees. The bureau has not said exactly what that cap would be, but is exploring the idea of a $3 charge max. Now, just a little context here. These fees were introduced in the 90s, back when checks were more popular. Fast forward to today with the popular of debit cards instead. These fees have resulted in massive profits for banks. It is estimated that big banks make upwards of $8 billion a year from overdraft fees. For too long, some banks have charged extreme overdraft fees, sometimes $30 or more, that often hit the most vulnerable Americans the hardest. Unfortunately, some Republicans in Congress continue to defend the rights of big banks to exploit their customers. President Biden believes it's wrong that some companies rip off Americans simply because they can. Now, according to Bankrate, in August of last year, overdraft fees were still being charged on 91% of accounts surveyed. Fees average around $26. Now, I took a look at what some of Charlotte's biggest banks are charging, and here's what I found. Ally Bank, which is headquartered in Charlotte, has no overdraft fees. It was one of the first large banks in the U.S. to eliminate them back in 2021, so not that long ago. That following year, Truist Bank did the same. It has no overdraft fees and gives customers 14 days to bring their balance back up into the positives before their account is limited. Bank of America, on the other hand, used to charge $35 per overdraft. It dropped that to $10 back in 2022. Wells Fargo has one of the highest overdraft fees in the Queen City. It charges customers $35 per item up to three times a day. Yeah, and Taylor, that certainly does add up. And given yeah. how much the banks do make off of this, like a Wells Fargo, Bank of America, are they fighting this right now? Yeah, there will likely be a legal challenge to whatever policy change that comes this way, which is likely. And there are reports that banking industry is uh, gearing up to fight um, their proposal with a multi-million dollar marketing campaign. So we will just have to wait and see what comes in coming weeks, Annie. And it's so frustrating, too, because sometimes it's a charge that you weren't meant to have. And if you are living paycheck to paycheck, that really does matter. So you didn't do anything wrong, but you got dinged for it anyway. You're already don't have money right. and now you're paying a fee on top of that. Yeah. So. All right. No. So we'll have to see what comes out of that.